Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Saturday. We've got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. Yeah, we'll hop in it. Busy slate today, starting with the Minnesota Twins versus the New York Yankees. Twins or Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 130. The Twins plus 120 with the over under at eight and a half. Wins coming into this matchup 10 and 4. The Yankees 8 and 6. Pitching for the Twins is Tyler Molly with an ERA of 4.09. Pitching for the Yankees is Domingo German with an ERA of 5.87. Molly, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had six strikeouts. German, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up one run, had zero strikeouts. Minnesota on a four-game winning streak, beating the Yankees in the last two games. And uh, yeah, Minnesota playing very well right now. Uh, they're 7-2 and two on the road. And um, yeah, I thought Yankees would be good yesterday. Um, eh, it didn't work out, but I think Twins are good on their dog. They're just playing very well. And um, I'm going to take a shot with the Twins plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the San Francisco Giants versus the Detroit Tigers. Tigers opening up as road favorites at minus 145. Detroit plus 130 with the over under at 9. Pitching for the Giants is Anthony DeSclafani with an ERA of 0.73. Currently for the Tigers, it's uh, can't find out who's pitching as of right now. So we'll see who ends up pitching for Detroit. Uh, DeSclafani, his last start. He pitched six innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Giants coming off a Detroit loss yesterday, losing seven to five. Detroit on a little two-game winning streak right now. Um, I think it's a good bounce back spot for the Giants. Uh, bad loss yesterday, but I do like Anthony Discafani on the mound. He's been great so far this season. I'm gonna roll with the Giants on the road. Next matchup, we got the Baltimore Orioles versus the Chicago White Sox. Baltimore opening up as road favorites at minus 110. Chicago plus 100 with the over under at 9. Baltimore coming into this matchup 8 and 6. The White Sox 5 and 9. Pitching for the Orioles is Kyle Gibson with an ERA of 3.44. Pitching for the White Sox is Michael Kopech with an ERA of 6.75. Gibson, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had four strikeouts. Kopech, his last start, he pitched uh, six innings, gave up one run, and had five strikeouts. Baltimore on a two-game winning streak, beating the White Sox 6-3 to three yesterday. Uh, White Sox on a three-game losing streak right now, and uh, yeah, haven't looked that great during this run. Baltimore is 6-2 and two against the White Sox here. Um... I do like Gibson on the mound, and the Orioles are playing well. I'm going to roll with Baltimore on the road. Next matchup, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Pittsburgh plus 170 with the over-under at 8.5. Cardinals coming into this matchup. 6-8. Six and eight. The Pirates 8-6. Eight and six. Pitching for the Pirates is Ronzi Contreras with an ERA of 8.0. Pitching for the Cardinals is Steven Matz with an ERA of 8.18. Contreras, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up seven runs, had three strikeouts. Matz, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up six runs, and had four strikeouts. Pick losing to St. Louis 3-0 yesterday. And, um... Yeah, pretty even pitching matchup here. Uh, both pitchers I mean, haven't looked the greatest to start out uh, the season. Um, yeah, but Contreras coming off a seven-run game. Matt's coming off a six-run game here. And uh, maybe the over is probably a decent play in this matchup uh, with both pitchers giving up a lot of runs. I think I'd still take a shot with the Pirates plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto opening up as home favorites at minus 120. 
Tampa Bay plus 100 with the over under at nine and a half. Rays coming into this matchup 13 and one. The Blue Jays nine and five. Pitching for the Rays is Calvin Faucher with an ERA of 4.50. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Yusai Kikuchi with an ERA of 6.75. Um, Kikuchi, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up six runs, had six strikeouts. Couldn't find any info on Faucher on the side I'm looking at. Uh, Tampa finally losing. Uh, I mean, look, they weren't going to keep that streak up forever. That's kind of crazy. It was a great ride nonetheless, but uh, finally getting a loss. And uh, but yeah, nonetheless, Tampa Bay still playing great, getting them as an underdog just now. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to abandon Tampa Bay unless they just go on a crazy losing streak here. And um, I'm going to take the Rays plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Guardians versus the Washington Nationals. Cleveland opening up as road favorites at minus 170. Washington plus 155 with the over-under at 9.5. Cleveland coming into this matchup 8-6. The Nationals 4-10. Pitching for the Guardians is Zach Plesak with an ERA of 9.0. Pitching for the Nationals is Chad Cool with an ERA of 8.10. Uh, Lasak, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Pool, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up five runs, had three strikeouts. Cleveland coming off a Washington win yesterday, winning four to three. Washington on a three game losing streak. Cleveland is six and one on the road right now, so playing well on the road. And, uh, yeah. I think the over is probably a decent play. Both pitchers giving up a good bit of runs here, but I'm still going to take a shot with the Guardians on the road. Next matchup, we got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the San Diego Padres. Padres opening up as home favorites at minus 125. The Brewers plus 110 with the over under at eight. Pitching for the Bre or Brewers coming into this matchup 10 and four. The Padres seven and eight. Pitching for the Brewers is Freddie Peralta with an ERA of 0.75. Pitching for the Padres is Seth Lugo with an ERA of 1.38. Uh, Peralta, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Lugo, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run and had five strikeouts. Both pitchers coming off good starts on the mound here. And... Um, Brewers on a two-game winning streak, beating Padres both games. Coming off an 11-2 beatdown yesterday. Padres on a three-game losing streak. And yeah, Brewers playing well. They're 13-7 against the Padres. 5-2 and two on the road. I'm going to take a shot with the Brewers plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the New York Mets versus the Oakland Athletics. Oakland opening, or Mets opening up as road favorites at minus 180. Oakland plus 160 with the over-under at uh, 9. Mets coming into this matchup 8-6. and six. Oakland 3-11. and 11. Pitching for the Mets is Carlos Carrasco with an ERA of 11.42. Pitching for Oakland is Shintaro Fujinami with an ERA of 17.55. Carrasco, his last start, he pitched 4 innings. Gave up 6 runs, had 1 strikeout. Uh, Fujinami, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up five runs, had one strikeout. Mets on a two game winning streak, beating Oakland 17 to six yesterday. I mean, what a beatdown in Oakland! They've just been so horrible, hard to really bet on them. I know Carrasco has been pretty bad on the mound the last two games here, but uh, maybe the over is a decent play, especially after yesterday. And uh, I'll still take a shot with the Mets on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Miami Marlins. Miami opening up as home favorites at minus 135. Arizona plus 115 with the over-under at 8.5. Arizona coming into this matchup 8-6. Miami 7-7. Seven seven. Pitching for the Diamondbacks is Ryan e. Nelson with an ERA of 4.91. Pitching for the Marlins is Braxton Garrett with an ERA of 4.70. Arizona uh, uh, pitching 
Uh, Nelson, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Garrett, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. Arizona losing to Miami five to one yesterday. Uh, Miami on a little three game winning streak, playing well right now. Arizona is five and two against Miami, uh, despite the loss yesterday. And, uh, I mean, definitely an even pitching matchup here. And uh, I still think Arizona is a good underdog value here. Uh, getting some good plus money as well. And uh, I think I would take a shot with Arizona plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Braves versus the Kansas City Royals. Braves opening up as road favorites at minus 140. Kansas City plus 120 with the over under at nine. Braves coming into this matchup 10 and 4. The Royals 4 and 10. Pitching for the Braves is Bryce Elder with an ERA of 0. Pitching for the Royals is Chris Bubik with an ERA of 1.64. Elder, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had seven strikeouts, hasn't given up a run in his first two starts this season. Bubik coming off a zero run game as well. He's actually pitched pretty well. Atlanta on a four game winning streak. Beating Kansas City 10 to 3 yesterday. And uh yeah, Atlanta 6 and 1 on the road. Uh do like Elder on the mound for the Braves. And uh, I'm gonna roll with Atlanta on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Angels versus the Boston Red Sox. Angels opening up as road favorites at minus 115. Boston minus 105 with the over-under at nine and a half. Angels coming into this matchup seven and six. The Red Sox, 6-8. and eight. Pitching for the Angels is Tyler Anderson with an ERA of 4.22. Pitching for the Red Sox is Nick Pavetta with an ERA of 0 0.90. Tyler Anderson, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up five runs, had four strikeouts. Pavetta, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up zero runs and had six strikeouts. L.A., Coming off a Boston loss. Yeah, Boston, you know, was on that four-game losing streak until getting the win yesterday. And um, I still think Boston's another good underdog again today here. Uh, Nick Pavetta, been good on the mound his, his, uh, to start the season. And uh, I'll take a shot with the Red Sox, plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we've got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Phillies opening up. Uh, it's a pick em scenario. So both teams at minus 110 with the over under at nine. Phillies coming into this matchup five and nine. The Reds five and eight. Pitching for the Phillies is Matt Strom with an ERA of zero. Pitching for the Reds is Graham Ashcraft with an ERA of 2.08. Strom, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. Ashcraft, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. The Phillies beating the Reds yesterday, eight to three. Um, just, just kind of an ugly series here. Both teams have been underperforming so far to start the season. Um, yeah, this one can go either way. And in a pick'em scenario, um, both pitchers have been, you know, pretty well so far to start the season. It looks like um, the Reds are the natural underdog here. You could probably get both teams plus one and a half as well, but I think I'll take a shot with the Reds plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Texas Rangers versus the Houston Astros. Houston opening up as home favorites at minus 180. Texas plus 155 with the over under at eight. Rangers coming into this matchup eight and five. Houston six and eight. Pitching for the Rangers is John Gray with an ERA of 3.0. Pitching for the Astros is Hunter Brown with an ERA of 3.09. Gray, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Brown, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, had seven strikeouts. Texas beating Houston yesterday six to two. Nice underdog win. Um, yeah, you know, Texas, they've struggled against Houston. They're 4-16 and 16 on the road against Houston. 5-14 and 14 straight up against Houston. But 
Texas, you know, they've looked good so far this season. And um, I still think they're a good underdog here, getting big plus money. And uh, I think I'll take a shot with the Rangers plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 155. The Cubs plus 140 with the over-under at 9. Cubs coming into this matchup 7-5. Seven and five. The Dodgers 7-7. Seven and seven. Pitching for the Cubs is Jamison Tylon with an ERA of 6.0. Pitching for the Dodgers is Michael Grove with an ERA of 14.73. Tylon, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. Grove, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up nine runs, had four strikeouts. Uh, the Cubs beating LA 8-2 yesterday. Um, LA losing to Chicago. Um, yeah, the Dodgers, they've been just kind of disappointing. Even though Chicago struggled against the Dodgers here, um, Grove hasn't been good on the mound for the Dodgers. I'm going to take a shot with the Cubs plus one and a half on the road. Then the last matchup, we got the Colorado Rockies versus the Seattle Mariners. Mariners opening up as home favorites at minus 250. Colorado plus 210 with the over under at eight. Rockies coming into this matchup five and nine. The Mariners six and eight. Pitching for the Rockies is Ryan Feltner with an ERA of 7.45. Pitching for the Mariners is George Kirby with an ERA of 4.35. Feltner, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Kirby, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had four strikeouts. Colorado on a three-game losing streak right now, uh, losing to Seattle 5-3 to three yesterday. Seattle on a little two-game winning streak. Um, I just don't think I could pay minus 250 for the Mariners. I mean, they haven't played that well. Not a crazy pitching advantage here. I'd still take a shot with the Rockies plus one and a half on the road and uh, throw the Rockies in a round robin at plus, at plus 210. They could definitely win this game here. And uh, I'll take a shot with the Rockies. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.